here are the top three reasons why your offer is not getting accepted as a buyer. I'm Tasha. I work with uh, home buyers and sellers here in Southern California. So if you're looking to buy or sell your home, please contact me. Um, so some of the top reasons why your offer isn't getting accepted, and this is this can be a lot of reasons, but uh, the top three reasons are um, your offer price is not high enough. Um, you need to make sure to go up in price. Your realtor should be going over the comps with you and you know educating you on the local area and the market there. Um, so that way you do come in with a high and strong offer. Um, and of course, they should be reaching out to the listing agent and asking them what offers look like and are there other offers. So, um, you know, knowing what the market is and setting that price and coming in uh, uh, strong. So, um, number two is it kind of goes hand in hand with the first thing that I said on pricing. Uh, you need to use an escalation clause um, as well. Using an escalation clause won't necessarily get your offer accepted, but it will put you in a higher position to get your um, offer accepted. If there are other offers on the table, this is when you would use that escalation clause to bid higher than the other uh, people that are bidding on the home. So this puts you in a great position because you not only come in, you know, you could come in asking and bid like, you know, 2,500 to 5,000 above other offers. So it puts you in a good position to where you're not bidding out, you know, bidding um, too high from the start and you can basically win a home this way. And we have helped numerous buyers uh, win homes with a, the uh, escalation clause. Um, number three, you're not shortening your contingencies, especially your um, inspection contingency. So here in California, it's 17 days long, but you need to make that 10 days or shorter. If it's a small condo, you could even make it five days. If it's a big home, of course, you may want to make it um, 10 days, but sometimes even seven is good on that. Uh, you'll definitely want to con consider um, shortening down your loan and appraisal as well. Of course, talk to your lender first. Make sure that they can do shortened contingencies. Also, something to consider is um, shortening your uh, closing. So if that's something that would appeal to the seller and they're not looking to try to stay in after the closing, you know, who doesn't like a faster sale? So some lenders, we have a, a lender that can do a 15 day closing. So, you know, that is going to be something that you can look at to kind of get a leg up on others in the market. So anyways, that's your three tips on getting your offer accepted. We are highly successful at getting offers accepted and we do have a very good rate of getting VA offers accepted. So for those of you looking to use your VA loan, happy to chat with you guys about that as well. So um, please uh, comment or check out my link that's in the bio. I'd be happy to chat with you.